Hey, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number six from the January 2022 unused paper. For, um, this is the Pure Mathematics P4 from Edexcel. This was a paper that was not used. It was a different paper that I've already answered, which was the actual paper. This is called the unused paper. So I'm using this for extra practice for the students. Now it says use integration by parts to show that the integral of e to the power of 2x times cosine 3x with respect to x gives, is, gives you this expression here, p times e to the power of 2x sine 3x plus q times e to the power of 2x cosine 3x plus k, where p and q are rational numbers to be found and k is an arbitrary constant. Okay, now when you see something that you got to integrate like this and they've told us to use integration by parts which is what you do when you find two unrelated um, you know functions that are being multiplied together okay and you have to integrate them and you can't use for example substitution you can't use uh, recognition they're, they're completely unrelated products so you're going to use integration by parts what we normally try to do is we, we call one of them u and the other one we call it dv dx and u we have to differentiate to find du dx and dv dx we have to integrate to find what v is now we normally choose the one that breaks down easily as our u or if we have a linux in there it breaks down to become one over x makes it easier but when you've got a case like this neither of them when we integrate it or when we differentiate it will break down to become something simpler this will just become 2 times e to the power of 2x if you differentiate it. And this would just become minus 3 times sine 3x. So they don't break down to something simpler. So when you see a situation like that, there's a special technique that we need to use. So you, you, you notice straight away they won't break down, but we still have to use integration by parts. Okay, watch closely for this technique. So first of all, I can choose. In fact, in this case, you can choose either one of them to be u. Uh, and dv dx, whichever one you want. Now, I think it's probably better to use cosine 3x as u, although it really doesn't matter if you don't. You could use e to the power of 2x here. And dv dx to, u, to be e to the power of 2x. The reason why is because when I differentiate this, I'm going to get, um, differentiate cosine 3x, the differential of cosine of a of something is negative sine of that same thing, but then we multiply by the difference of what's inside the function, inside the function, sorry. So it's minus three times the sine of three x. And when we integrate e to the power of two x, it stays as e to the power of two x, but then you divide it by two, divide by the difference of what's inside the function. Okay, that's for in that's for integration. All right, so that's um, the first part now. So what, what you do, what, what you should do here is just keep writing down what we have in the beginning. It's very important to write this down so you'll see what happens. So e to the power of 2x times cosine of 3x dx. Write that down in every line okay, that we do. It's very important and you'll see why. Now we know when we're integrating by parts, when you set it up like this, it's really easy. You can look at the formula, book, but it's u times v, so you go across like this u times v, so it's going to be multiplying these two together, which is going to be um, basically, you could say a half e to the power of 2x times cosine of 3x minus the integral of these two multiplied. So you've got minus 3 over 2, so that would become plus here, and I'll write 3 over 2 outside, I'll write the constant outside, times e to the power of 2x times sine of 3x and that has to be integrated with respect to x so uv minus integral of v du dx dx okay that's where that comes from now we can see here that of course this isn't any simpler but what i'm going to do again do is i'm going to do go through this process again i'm going to choose u as now i'll follow the same kind of idea so i'll call u sine x sine 3x and I'll call dv dx, again, it's going to be e to the power of 2x. I like to keep the constants on the outside. It just I find it makes life a lot easier in these kind of questions. So I put the 3 over 2 that was, um, you know, when you multiply these together, minus 3 over 2 became plus, because this was uv minus the integral of 
um, v du dx, so the minus and the minus became a plus. So now I've got this um, as my u, and I've got this as my dv dx. So now I'm going to call, I'm going to uh, differentiate this with respect to x, so du dx. Now this is going to be 3 times cosine of 3x, and v is going to be again a half e to the power of 2x, or e to the power of 2x over 2, same thing. I'm going to go through the same process. As I said, I'm going to write this, this down. It's very important to write this down every time. So e to the power of 2x, cosine of 3x dx, equals a half e to the power of 2x, um, cosine 3x, plus 3 over 2 times, then we're going to have u times, I'm going to integrate this, so u times v, which is a half e to the power of 2x sine 3x, a half e to the power of 2x times sine of 3x, minus the integral of these two, which is going to be minus 3 over 2, and that will be e to the power of 2x, cosine 3x dx. Now, we don't need to go and integrate this again because now what you'll notice is, and this is really this is the this is the key in this in this type of question, you'll notice eventually you'll get to a stage where this and this are the same thing. They're like like terms. I can combine them together. Okay, so now what I have to do is just just expand the bracket and simplify this first, and then I can combine these two like terms together, and then I'll be able to give you an expression for the integral of e to the power of 2x cosine 3x with respect to x. So once you got to that stage where you see the same thing that you started with, with the integral sign in your answer, that's where you stop integrating and you start trying to bring these two together as like terms. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep this as e to the power of 2x times cosine 3x with respect to x equals, this is as it is, a half to the power, e to the power of 2x times cosine 3x. Now I'm going to start multiplying this out. This is going to be plus. That's 3 over 4. e to the power of 2x sine 3x. Then this multiplied by that gives you minus 9 over 4 times the integral of e to the power of 2x cosine 3x with respect to x. Now I can add this to both sides. Now I can add this to both sides. So I can say that this is going to be now e to the power of 2x times cosine 3x with respect to x plus 9 over 4 times the integral of e to the power of 2x cosine 3x with respect to x. So I've added this to both sides, and that's equal to what we have here, which is a half e to the power of 2x cosine 3x plus 3 quarters e to the power of 2x sine 3x. So these two added together, well, this is going to be like 4 over 4 plus 9 over 4, which is going to be 13 over 4 times the integral of e to the power of 2x cosine 3x with respect to x equals, this is as it is, a half e to the power of 2x cosine 3x plus 3 quarters e to the power of 2x sine 3x. Okay, so there's that's going to give you, yeah, that's that's fine. So now I want to find what this is. So I've got to multiply both sides by 4 over 13. If I multiply this by 4 over 13, they cancel out. So I multiply all of this by 4 over 13. So this gives you what we're trying to find, e to the power of 2x cosine 3x with respect to x. And now when I multiply 4 over 13 by this, that's going to give me a half times 4 over 13. The 2 and the 4 cancel, leaving me 2. That's going to be 2 over 13, e to the power of 2x, cosine 3x. If I multiply these two together, the 4s cancel. I'm left with plus 3 over 13, e to the power of 2x, sine of 3x. And then I'm going to put the constant of integration at the end, plus k. And there we have the answer to that question. All right, so it's not that difficult, it's a bit different, but you should spot that straight away. When, you're, when you look at this, you've got to do integration by parts. There's no way this will break down and one part will just become simpler as you go along. They're going to continue basically being repeated 
you know, e to the power of 2x cosine 3x or e to the power of 2x sine 3x, it will continue getting repeated. So once you reach the stage where you see what you have to solve for, what you have to find the answer for, the integral of that thing is repeated as the integral of that same thing on the other side. That's where we know to stop, simplify, bring those two together as like terms, as we did here, and then we can then express your answer as we just did. So there's the answer for question number six from this paper, the January 2022 unseen paper from Pure Mathematics P4 from Edexcel. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear um, over here. The link for the playlist will play, appear over here. Other questions from integration by parts will be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Well, the link for it. And the link for the playlist for integration in general will be in this area here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. And don't forget to look at the description under the video to see other material you might find useful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.